Yo, what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm about to show you how you can install mods for Need for Speed Unbound. Since many of you have been asking me how you can install mods for this game, I decided to make a quick video to show you just how easy it is to install mods for Need for Speed Unbound. So to go straight to the point, since Need for Speed Unbound is running on Frostbite engine, we will need a modding tool that supports Frostbite Need for Speed games. And that tool is called Frosty Mod Manager. So now you can go on this official Frosty Tool Suite website and download this Frosty Mod Manager. But unfortunately this mod manager will not work with Need for Speed Unbound, so we will have to use a different one. So the first step is to go to the Nexus Mods webpage, which I will link down in the description. On this webpage you can find many different mods for Need for Speed Unbound, but you would want to look for Need for Speed Unbound Remix mod. Once you find this mod, click on it. Then on the right hand side look for a manual download button. Once you click on it, here you will see additional files, Frosty Editor which we won't need unless you wanna make your own mods and Frosty Mod Manager which we will need to install the mods. So click on Frosty Mod Manager to download it. Then click on download button and download anyway. Now open up the downloaded zip file and extract Frosty Mod Manager folder to anywhere on your PC. After that go into your Frosty Mod Manager folder. Now if this is your first time using Frosty, you won't have mods folder created. So to make one just launch Frosty Mod Manager program. After that select the game you want to mod. If Need for Speed Unbound isn't there, just add it manually. Now we can see that mods folder and Need for Speed Unbound folder had been successfully created. Here in this folder we will drop every mod we downloaded. To download the actual mod, go back to our Nexus mod page and under additional files we can see Origin, which means that these mods will only work through Origin Launcher, but don't worry, if you wanna launch it through Steam or EA app, I will show you a trick later on in this video. Now click on Download and choose Slow Download if you don't have a premium account. After that open up the zip file we've downloaded and go into the main file folder and extract unboundremix.fbmod to a frosty Need for Speed Unbound mods folder. But now let's say we want to use some other mods as well. You can go to this slide Windows Discord channel which I will link and you can see so many different mods but one of my favorite is definitely a drift mod made by Hyadius and you can see that all the mods end with .fbmod which means that these mods are installed using Frosty Mod Manager. Now just click on download icon to download the mod. Now same process as before, copy the downloaded mod to a Frosty Mods Need for Speed Unbound folder. Once you're happy with your mod selection, just launch Frosty Mod Manager and select Need for Speed Unbound and wait for all the mods to load. Once Frosty Mod Manager opens, here on the left hand side you can see all the downloaded mods. To make these mods active, just double click on them and they will appear on the right hand side under applied mods. You can also enable or disable this mod by just checking or unchecking the checkbox. Now if for some reason your game crashes, it might be because of the mods order. So to change the mods order, just select the mod and click on downward arrow to move the mod downward or click on upward arrow to move the mod upward. Once you're ready, you can click launch button to launch the Need for Speed Unbound. We can already see Unbound Trimix loading screen which means the mods are already working. Once you're in a game, the quickest way to check if mods are really working is to go to your body kits for your Nissan 240Z and you can see this Posuzoku body kit which means that mods are working or you can also go to your car shop and under custom cars you can see a bunch of newly added cars. To check if Drift mod is also working just go to your free roam and make sure you have one of the cars that are supported by this mod and just try to drift it and you will see a big difference than before. Now for Steam users and EA app users, if you wanna make sure that these mods will also work for you, you will need this datapad fix. So thankfully if we go back to our Frosty Mod Manager zip file we downloaded previously, we also have plugins for EA app folder. If we open it up and go into plugins folder, we have datapad fix folder and datapad fix DLL file. We just simply copy and paste them to the plugins folder of Frosty Mod Manager. After that you can launch the game to Frosty Mod Manager. I unfortunately don't have Steam version or EA app version to test this out, 
So if you have one of these two versions and you are about to use Datapath fix, make sure to drop the comment down if this solution works or not. And another way you can mod Frostbite Need for Speed games is with Cheat Engine, on which I already did a tutorial how to gain unlimited amount of money in Need for Speed Unbound, so if you haven't watched it yet, make sure to go and watch it. And another really cool Cheat Engine script is a script that unlocks all your cars, so you don't have to do all the silly challenges. So I will also drop this script down in the description if you want to check it out. And with all that said, this will be all for this quick video today. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like button and subscribe if you haven't yet so you won't miss any future videos. And as always, have a great day and I will see you in the next one.